Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen Siki Racing, and today I'm going to show you how I pack for a travel race or for a race that I fly to. Uh, so what I have here is the four bags that I bring with me. Um, I have my two checked bags, which is an OGO bag and a suitcase, as well as a backpack and a smaller roller bag. Uh, so these two in the middle will be my carry-ons, and then the larger two on the outside will be my checked bags. Uh, so I'm going to go through really quick just kind of how I pack each of those bags. Okay, so the first bag here is my backpack and basically in my backpack I bring kind of little knickknack stuff, uh, iPod, uh, headphones, I have a small uh, additional battery that way if I need to charge my phone or anything like that where I don't have an outlet. Um, and I also bring uh, a couple spare engines, usually a spare buggy engine and truck engine just as a backup. I also have my transmitter case in here with my transmitter and any spare servos or receivers. Um, but that's pretty much it for the backpack. Um, you know, just all the essentials that are a little bit fragile that you don't want to check. And also you try to stuff anything that's kind of heavy in your carry-on stuff because in most cases they don't weigh those bags. Internationally they do, but Domestic flights, a lot of times they don't weigh those bags. So if you have any extra weight or anything like that, you can kind of stuff into your carry-on bags. Okay, so here I have my second carry-on bag. And it's just a small roller bag. Came uh, as a part of my suitcase set, I guess you could say. Came with three of them. Uh, this is the smallest of the three. Um, and what I, what I normally pack in here uh, are my buggies. So it actually works out really good. You can fit two buggies. I put my nitro buggy, a couple spare sets of tires, wing, and then on the top side, I put my electric buggy, a couple spare engines, um, just because these are the things that are the most critical that you really have to have for the race. So if one of your check bags gets lost, at least you have your buggies, transmitter, and your backpack. That way you're able to kind of bum a start or bum some fuel and some tires and uh, at least get out on the track for practice. Okay, so here we have my suitcase or my first checked bag. Um, and then here I kind of have a combination of some of my race equipment as well as my clothes. So basically just to kind of make sure everything's protected, I like to kind of put a layer of clothes, then some of my race stuff, another layer of clothes, so on and so forth. So I have my toolbox. I always make sure that I tape uh, the main handle close as well as each of the latches. You don't want to have this thing open up and have all your tools and little parts kind of bust open. And then underneath here, I have my Truggy. And again, just clothes and everything packed around it just to keep it you know, nice and safe. I have my pit bag. And then in my pit bag, I actually have two of my small parts boxes. So my screw box, Dremel box, and then two of my larger parts boxes. So like my clutch box and shock box. Um, again, just trying to kind of balance out the weight and also to keep everything nice and protected so that the boxes don't shift around and break during travel. Okay, so here is my last bag, my OGO bag or my race bag. Um, so with this, it's pretty much just all the remaining uh, race items that I have. Um, but the way that I like to kind of pack everything is to have all my parts boxes and everything kind of packed pretty tight together um, at the back end. That way, when they pull it off the conveyor or anything like that and drop it, everything's kind of compacted tight together. I'll always try to take uh, like a towel, paper towels, things like that, a few soft things to kind of uh, distribute in between the parts boxes. And then at the far end, or the top side of the bag, I'll put some things that uh, are a little bit softer and not quite as heavy, uh, like engine heater, some spare Alexan wings, some bodies, uh, springs, and things like that. But in here I have my remaining parts boxes, my shock fluids, diff fluids, um, my tire gluing bag with my tire punch, tire bands, things like that. Um, again, just kind of trying to equal out the weight between this bag and my suitcase. That way each bag is 50 pounds or less. 
Uh, one thing that's kind of really nice to have just to make sure you don't have to go through the hassle when you get in the line at the airport is just a simple little travel scale. Um, again, just makes it easy. Make sure that uh, when you are in line, you don't have one bag that's 54 pounds, another bag that's 46 pounds, and you're having to kind of reorganize everything. So that's just kind of a simple way how I pack all my bags.